We're going to begin today by opening up the assignment that's inside Schoology. We haven't done this before, but there's actually a SketchUp file that is inside Schoology. So you're going to click on this and you'll see it download actually down here in the left hand corner. Now what you're going to do is open up SketchUp for web. Okay. And I, to get to this page, I, I just open the home button. Now what I'm going to do is hit open and go to my computer. I go under downloads. Now I have several of these because I've done this multiple times, but I'm going to click on that core concepts and hit open. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm going to close out this download window and then I'm going to hit save. I'm going to save in SketchUp and I can hit model name or concepts. Okay. Now you see that I've saved it. It has core concepts practice up in the left hand corner. Okay. This model, this file has some really cool features. So what we're going to do is go over here to this little thing that says scenes. We're going to click on that and it gives us um, these different scenes that SketchUp will snap to if we um, select each one. So the first one that we're going to select is the basic rectangle. So I select over here on the left and it brings me in automatically so that I'm zoomed in on this face. It's very cool. There's actually different, um, different views in the scenes that I can look at. Um, so different, different ways I can go from the top. Um, it's really neat, but we want to still click on that basic rectangle and it's going to zip me in every time to where I, it, I just have like a perfect view of it. What we're going to do with this is we're going to practice drawing um, midpoints on these lines. So I'm going to tap L with the line tool and I'm going to hover on this until I get the cyan dot. Cyan's kind of that, that aqua color there. I click there, click once, drag, and click again. I'm going to do this until I select, um, until I create a region that has 16 boxes in this. I'm just going to keep dividing midpoint to midpoint until I have 16 boxes. Midpoint to midpoint, midpoint to midpoint. Dividing, dividing. So I'm still just clicking, dragging, clicking again. So now I have 16 boxes here. At this point, we're going to play with the erase tool. Take the erase tool and you can actually, you can, there's a few different ways that you can erase. Um, or the erase tool is one of the only ones that you will actually hold the mouse down and you can select multiple lines at a time. So you can get rid of one line by centering it inside that circle, or you can get hold click and hold the mouse down and then swipe over multiple lines while still holding it down and then get rid of multiple lines. Normally, um, we have been using the push pull tool, but we're going to be creating surfaces with the line tool today. Everything in SketchUp, no matter how complicated, is just lines and surfaces, lines and surfaces. So we can create different kinds of surfaces to push pull by playing with um, the line tool. So I want you to go back, create a, um, and just heal all these edges. We want to go back and finish um, 16 boxes here. And then I want you guys um, to insert your signature. And then go ahead and do that one time for you guys on camera. So you want to go to your computer, go to your pictures, just in case anybody still had questions on how to do this. I want to find the signature that I created months ago. I'm going to open that up, hit the image, 
and I'm going to insert that. You guys can put that anywhere, actually. Sometimes you're going to want to put it on the model, sometimes off camera. We're going to take a snip of this. the snipping tool and you guys are going to be submitting six snips so this is number one I'm going to show you save this as CC1 okay. from now on I'm not going to show that step I'm just going to zip past it okay so that's snip number one there's going to be six snips total the next one, we're going to snap to the coplanar scene over here on the right. Okay, and they give us these three um, sets of lines. We're going to take the line tool, and you're going to close up these loops, and it's going to create a surface. Okay, if I click out of that line tool and kind of observe it, you see that that surface is actually hovering above the ground. I'm going to go back to this. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to create a surface there. And you can see that this one, it creates surfaces by closing the lines when they're all coplanar, meaning that they're all on the same plane. This last one over here to the right is actually not going to create a surface because there's a twist in this. They're not all on the same line. You can see that the shape is kind of bent. So if you wind up um, trying to create a surface and it doesn't give you that, that flat piece of paper look, it doesn't like change to a different color. The reason is because these are all on different, um, different planes. So it's kind of twisted. So, this is going to be your second snip. So I have magically inserted my signature there. I don't want to waste your guys' time with that anymore. Taking our second screenshot and moving on to the next. Okay, our next view is going to be the floor plan over to the right. This one's kind of cool. We're going to learn about something called inferences. Inferences is a tool that allows us to use corners or endpoints as references. Um, this is going to allow you to become very fast with SketchUp. So the way this works is using the line tool. We're going to start a line here, then we're going to hover over another point for two seconds. And then you'll see that there is an inference that is drawn from that point. Now I can continue doing that at different points right there at that endpoint as well, and I'll get another inference. You can see hover over this guy, come on. And then as I draw across, it will snap to that point as well. I can continue doing this on all kinds of points. And I get another point there. And actually the points last. So I can go back and it hits that one. And I can go back and it hits this one. So anywhere I have drawn, I can create these inference points. We're gonna stop with this for a moment. And we're going to go over scene four. Scene four is kind of a playground for inferences. I'm going to start with the line tool. I'm going to find the midpoint of this line here, finding that cyan dot. And I'm going to start drawing across. And I'm going to hit, I'm just going to select some inferences and just keep using these inferences to draw lines and kind of use it as just a uh, practice playground here. I kind of draw like an interesting shape here. Mm. Okay. I'm 
So I want you to just kind of be creative, see what you can come up with here. Mm, let's see, maybe we'll do another one here. Okay, we'll come over here. Right there, maybe to right there. As I close this loop, I'm going to create a surface and it's going to highlight in white as that loop is closed. So from here, I'm going to insert my signature and this is going to be your, um, your third snip for me. Again, I'm skipping the step on camera where I'm searching for my signature. I don't want to bore you guys. I'm going to do my snip again. Okay, so this is snip number three. Snap. Moving on, we're going to go back to scene number three on the right here, which is the floor plan. We're going to create two walls, um, and we want them to be specific thicknesses in our diagram. And this is going to come in really handy when you guys are creating architectural plans. Okay, we want to create a wall that's going to project out from this wall here on the left. And it's going to run across and stop right at this edge right here, but also be lined up with this wall here. So kind of like from here across and stop right there. Okay, now you can actually use, if you're in the line tool, you can actually find inferences if you hover over a side for two seconds, even if you don't click. So you can see that I'm drawing out my inference here. I'm going to go all the way over and connect right there. This is going to be my first click. I'm going to start drawing. So now I'm just kind of moving my mouse, but I want it to inference with this edge. So it's going to be over here and then snap right there. Okay. Now I want my next inference to be this end point here so that the wall is going to be the same thickness. I go like this and then it infers to that other edge over there and click right there. And then all I have to do is go back to here. Then I can zoom in on this and actually erase this edge right here and create that surface. The next one I'm going to do, okay, is I want to project this wall out here, but I want it to infer to this edge. Okay, these things are all going to be very handy when you're creating doorways and stuff like that. Um, so infer this edge here to over here. You're going to see it snap right there. And I'm going to infer this edge here so it'll be the same thickness as the wall behind it. And then bring this back like that. I can tap E, my eraser back, and peel this edge right there. Okay, at this point, I'm going to take my next snip. You're going to see me instantaneously place my name in here. Again, there's no magic to that. I'm just pausing the video to not waste your time. Uh, I'm going to take the snip here, new. Take the snip of this, of just my extended walls, and that's going to be snip number four. It's probably a good idea at this point to hit save uh, if you haven't done it already, just so you don't lose your work, just in case. Save early, save often, it will save tears in the future. Okay. Um, the next one we're going to do is this uh, blue axis box. It's scene number five. There is so much noise right now. I'm so sorry. My 
Cats are playing behind me. My neighbors are setting off fireworks. It's uh, nighttime in the city right now. So, um, Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to um, build a box. Now, normally we would do this with the push-pull tool, um, but we're going to do this all with lines and inferences. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go to the line tool. I'm going to start at one corner, draw up in the blue axis direction. It looks really strange. It doesn't look straight up, but we know because it has highlighted blue that it is pulling straight up. Okay. I'm just going to hover to about there. Um, I'm going to infer over here and then draw up again. So we want the green and the blue axis together. And then I draw down. Oops, sorry. There we go. We go to where they intersect and then I draw down to create a surface there. I'm going to draw a three sided box here. Um, I'm going to go here, infer to here, up in the blue direction until I get the red and the blue together. I'm going to draw down to finish that surface. And again, I'm going to go here to right here. Oops. You want to infer, you don't want to click. Uh, let's say that you do do a mistake like that. You just hit control Z and it'll be what you just did. I want to click one time, infer by hovering, drag up. I have to make sure I'm on that same plane. Now you can see that I'm running into a little bit of a struggle here. Um, here to here, up the blue axis. And there we go. And then down like that. Now that's kind of an interesting problem. Um, I'm going to show you over here to the right um, that if you have this rotated in an odd circum, you can see if I line up these two edges just perfectly uh, like that, I can actually draw up and it's very hard to tell. You can see I'm in the green axis right now, but if I shift slightly to the right, I'm in the blue, green and blue. And they look exactly the same, but they're not at all. The blue is straight up and the green is actually going back. I'm going to show you from a different angle how different these two things are. So from here, up in the blue direction goes that way. In the green direction actually goes back. Oops, wait. Sorry, I'll do that one more time. Blue direction goes up. Start here green direction goes back. And those are two completely different lines. Okay. You can do that. Um, so you wind up with this real crazy shape. We have three sided box and then a blue and a green. And then I want you to put your signature on the side here. Okay. A signature on the side, take your snip. And this is snip number five. We're going to be sure and save our file right now again, just to save our work for whatever crazy reason. Um, our final snip is going to be down here in scene six, which is more inference practice. It snaps over here. And we're going to do that again, but this provides us more practice. Um, drawing a box with this line tool. Now what's cool is, do you see that there's an inference actually, which is going to give us an inference to our other shape over here, which means that it will be the same height as the shape we just created, which is kind of fun. So we'll continue with that. Um, and just using inferences, um, create a box here that is going to have a few sides that are open. And this is mainly just to distinguish this from the, the push-pull tool. All of this can be done with the push-pull tool, but we're not going to use that right now. I'm going to infer to this point right here. Okay. 
I want you guys just to practice. If you have a hard time inferring, change your orientation so you can see a little better and keep going. You're going to have to change it several times here. I want you to build every side except for this one right here. So build every side except for this front one. And it's all just practice. Practice using inferences. Again, up here, we're going to infer to that point. There we go. The loudest refrigerator in the world, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. And the last one's gonna be very easy because we've done all the inferences up to that point. All right, very cool. I'm gonna swing this to the front, get a nice, uh, get a nice top view. Use our, okay. So I can see all my sides here that I have completed everything. It kind of looks like a, a rat maze here. Okay, I'm gonna throw my signature right in this area right here. Right there. Paste that down, take our last snip, and this is snip number six, and you're done. Just upload those, and that will be full credit for this assignment.